welcome to all of you it's a video based powerpoint presentation under the project quality improvement in maths education of course the project by rmsa rashtriya madhyamik shiksha abhiyan and iit mumbai the topic of this presentation is introduction to basic trigonometry myself mr sachin madhukar dhanwad registration number mpe 070 my school name new english school jeu taluka purandar district pune and of course the guide teachers of my this video powerpoint presentation professor inder kumar rana sir from iit mumbai and professor santosh gharpure from iit mumbai so let us start this video powerpoint presentation the first step of this video powerpoint presentation is observe and explore so in this step i am going to show some clips to the students let us move to the first uh, picture clip this is the one of the highest tower in the world that is burj khalifa we can ask the students or we can ask the students to observe the height of this highest tower and the small buildings along with this alongside the this tower and just consider about the height of this highest tower in the world let us move one more picture here this is one of the highest statue in the world that is statue of unity which is in our state our country india gujarat state again here we can ask the students to observe the height of this statue with alongside the picture here then one more picture is here which is also one of the highest or the tallest temple in the world vrindavan chandrodaya mandir again consider the height of this top of this temple and the height of this people alongside the temple and we can just consider about the height how tall are these temples or we can ask the students to consider the height or we can ask the students how we can find out the height of this highest creation in the world our students can also ask us sir how we can find out the height of this tallest creations in the world so here one more video clip that gives you the answer how can you find out the height of this largest or the tallest creations in the world so look at this video triangle is right angled at this vertex the good news is 
that one angle is known and only two remain. This one and this one. Let this angle be theta. This is the triangle we will be dealing with to cover most of our trigonometry. A triangle with an angle theta and a right angle. It doesn't have to be called theta, but that's what it is generally referred to as. But how do these kind of triangles help us in real life? How does trigonometry help us in real life? Let's say Zen wants to find the height of this tree. He has to measure this length, which is the height. One way is to make an approximate guess. But a better way to find the height is by using trigonometry. Let's assume this distance is known to us. Remember, it's always easier to find the distance or the length on the ground than finding the distance vertically. And we can find the approximate measure of this angle, which is theta. With just these two pieces of information, Zen can find the height of this tree. Finding the height of a tree may not sound appealing to you, but the next example surely will. This time, Zen wants to find the height of a mountain. If this distance is known and this angle is known, then the height can easily be found out. But how? That's precisely what we will try to understand in trigonometry. So, what we learned in this video? We learned that trigonometry is basic thing which is we can use to find out the height of any creation in the world which is highest. So, this is the basic trigonometry. Let us now move to the second step of this video PowerPoint presentation that is define and prove which will be defined as what we learn exactly in the first step. So, this is the basic things we learn here. Trigonometry is one of the most important branch of mathematics which is related to right angle triangle. It's just the major of all the things possible in triangle. Trigonometry is very useful in other branches like engineering, astronomy, etc. Three angles and three sides, these are the only six things we deal with in trigonometry. Out of these six, we have given a few and using trigonometry, we need to find the rest. We can start trigonometry with the help of right angle triangles, Pythagoras theorem and similar triangles also. Let's have a look on the relation between angles and sides of right angle triangle. Look at this right angle triangle where this angle is right angle and this angle are we are going to suppose to be the theta which is one acute angle. So with regards with this acute angle, this side is supposed to be the adjacent side of this angle theta and this side is supposed to be the opposite side of this angle theta and of course this is the hypotenuse which is side opposite to the right angle. Similarly. In this right angle triangle also, this angle is right angle, so this is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle which is opposite to this right angle. And let us consider about this acute angle theta. With considering this angle theta, this will be the adjacent side of this theta and this will be the opposite side of this angle theta. So, So let us now learn the basic relationships with the help of these six ratios in right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle A, B, C, angle B is the right angle and we are now considering about this acute angle C. So with this right ang uh, acute angle C, side AB is the opposite side of angle C and side BC is the adjacent side of angle C. And of course, AC is again the hypotenuse which is the side opposite to right angle. So here is the first trigonometric ratio that is sine angle C. Sine angle C is the outside opposite to angle C upon hypotenuse that is AB upon AC. 
cos angle C is the side adjacent to angle C upon hypotenuse that is BC upon AC. Tan angle C is equal to side opposite to angle C upon side adjacent to angle C that is AB upon BC. Cot angle C is equal to side adjacent to angle C and side upon side opposite to angle C that is BC upon AB. Sec angle C is equal to hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle C that is AC upon BC. And the last one cosec angle C is equal to hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle C that will be AC upon AB. So here we can observe that the first three ratios are exactly opposite to the second three ratios that will be tan is exactly opposite of cot, cos is exactly opposite of sec and the sin is exactly opposite of cosec C. So here we learn the six trigonometric ratios in the second one, second step. Now let us move to the third step. Now we are going to apply whatever we learned here. The third step is apply and evaluate whatever we learned in the first two steps that is observe and explore and define and prove that is we are going to apply here in the third one by using the ratios relationship between the ratios and the Pythagoras theorem. So here we get have one, one more example in triangle ABC right angle at B AB is 24 centimeter BC is 7 centimeter and we have to determine sine of angle A, cos angle A, sine angle C and cos angle C. So we learn that if we have to find out any ratio of trigonometry in right angle triangle, we must know all the three sides of that right angle triangle. So let us first draw the right angle triangle of as per the given information that is in triangle ABC angle B is right angle BC is 7 cm and AB is 24 cm and we have to find out the given ratios. So of course first we have to find out the third side that is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle ABC that is AC and of course we can find out the any side if they gives us two sides by using Pythagoras theorem in right angle. Uh, we learned the property of Pythagoras in the last standard. So by applying that property of Pythagoras in this right angle triangle ABC, we can get the equation here. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. By substituting the values here we get the equation. AC square is equal to 24 square plus 7 square. The square of 24 is 576 plus square of 7 is 49. So by adding these two values, here we get the AC square is equal to 625. This is the value of AC square. So by taking the square root of both the sides, here we get the hypotenuse AC is equal to 25 centimeter. Now we get all the three values of the right angle triangle ABC that is AB is 24 centimeter, BC is 7 centimeter and AC is 25 centimeter. And now we can easily find out any trigonometric ratio by using these three values. The first one sine of angle A is equal to side opposite to angle A upon hypotenuse that is BC upon AC. By substituting the values we get the value 7 upon 25. Second one cos of angle A is equal to side adjacent to angle A upon hypotenuse that is AB upon AC. By substituting values we get the value of cos angle A that is 24 upon 25. The third one sine of angle C is equal to side opposite to angle C upon hypotenuse is equal to AB upon AC that is becomes 24 upon 25 and the last one 
cos of angle C is equal to side adjacent to angle C upon hypotenuse is equal to AB sorry BC upon AC that is the value 7 upon 25. So in this example we use the Pythagoras theorem and we can find out any trigonometric ratios in the given right angle triangle. In this way we can simplify so many examples based on the right angle triangle and based on the trigonometric ratios. Let us move one more example here. In triangle ABC if angle A is equal to 90 degree then find all the 6 ratios of angle B. Here they doesn't gives us the values of the length of the sides of right angle triangle. So here we can just put the names of the sides to find out the ratios here. Similarly in triangle PQR if PQ is 24 centimeter, PR is 26 centimeter and angle Q is 90 degree then find the values of angle sin angle P, cos angle P and tan angle R. By the same way we can first draw the right angle triangle PQR and by applying the Pythagoras theorem here we can just find out the third side of this right angle triangle and we can easily write down the values of any trigonometric ratios. In this third example they gives us here right angle triangle ABC where angle B is right angle and angle A is supposed to be the beta and by observing this figure we have to find out all the ratios of angle 90 minus beta. So of course the sum of these two acute angles is 90 degree. If angle A they gives us beta then of course the remaining acute angle C is supposed to be the 90 minus beta. It means here we have to find out all the trigonometric ratios of angle C they doesn't give us the values of any side so we have to just put the names of the sides and we can find out the any trigonometric ratios of this acute angle thank you for all of you watching this video powerpoint presentation thank you so much